Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Guys, we have uh, the Trophy Titans Team 2 pretty much fully leaked. Um, it's looking pretty good so far, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit weird because I don't see a Ricardo Carvalho who is in drastic need of an upgrade, right? Specifically in the pace department, because to be honest with you, Ricardo Carvalho is actually pretty good. He just lacks in the pace. The pace is always going to be a very relevant thing in this game. Uh, so it's a little bit unfortunate he doesn't have a card in this current list, but we'll see. Maybe they make him like an SBC or something in the future, right? Um, so we're going to be checking out each one of these individual cards, uh, seeing the potential of what they're going to be. Um, I already know that apparently Frank Lampard and Marquisio are going to be uh, well, Lampard's going to be an OBJ, and then is going to be an SBC. So Marquisio being an SBC is actually a very big deal because he's really good, right? So it's almost like a guaranteed good card as an SBC. That's, I think, a four-star, four-star, high, high work rate card, which we're obviously going to be taking a look at. Um, so for the first one, ladies and gentlemen, we have... Ronaldo. So Ronaldo's going to be in there just for the sake of him being in packs, honestly, because this card is already incredible. I wonder if they do like a, a work rate adjustment or something, right? Just to make it interesting. Does he have any traits? Yeah, maybe they add like an outside foot shot on him or something because the finesse shot and the chip shot trait are both really good traits to have. Um, but like I'm talking about making him even more overpowered than he already is. It's so funny that he's going to get a card. He already has the World Cup one, and then there's going to be, like, another version of him, which is uh, pretty nuts. But, yeah, Ronaldo is usually the type of card that people still use in their meta squads. You know what's interesting is that I just realized that this card has medium-low work rates, so that's actually good. I never tried him out this year, um, but him having medium-low is actually, like, a really, really big deal. Because when it's, like, I think in previous years, it used to be, like, a medium-medium, which most of the time used to be a little, little bit more generic. In this year's game, I don't think it would be as generic because medium is actually pretty solid for cer certain cards. I'll give you an example, right? So, you know, this card right here, the new version of this card, they made him a medium medium or he's a medium medium and he performs perfectly fine. Like his work rates are not really an issue in game, um, as you guys can see. But yeah, Ronaldo will definitely be uh, pretty crazy for sure. Uh, Lampard, they need to do very big upgrades on because... I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think there's been a single year of FIFA where the card has ever been good. I don't think they've ever made a good version of him. Like, maybe they made, like, a moments version, like, back in the day. Uh, but the card was probably still super generic, right? So they have to make him pretty decent. If they make him decent, it'll probably be the first gameplay objective card they've given us that's actually really nice to work with. Uh, considering the fact that it is an icon that provides you English links. Uh, so that would be pretty cool if they were to do that. But we'll see, right? We'll see how uh, generous they're feeling. Uh, there's a lot of potential with Lampard, obviously, with the fact that he can be a lengthy player, um, depending on how they boost the agility and the uh, the agility and the strength of the card. But obviously, on a shadow chemistry style, making him a lengthy player um, is definitely something that uh, could be really cool for sure. But this card, like, it doesn't even have that many likes and dislikes because people don't really use them. Like Lampard is one of the better midfielders we've seen in our generation, and and he's just not great. They have not made. It's so funny because they made a World Cup version of Ronaldo, no World Cup version of Lampard, no foot birthday version of Lampard. So this card has to be cool, in my opinion. It definitely has to be cool. Van Bastion is another one that they definitely have to improve as well. This card is not used at all. I never really see him used in teams whatsoever um, because he's really poorly formatted for the most part. I mean, if you give him an engine chemistry style and he does get the proper improvements in the future, um, it can be a pretty decent physical type striker uh, because I'm looking at like jumping, heading accuracy and stuff being improved. That could definitely be very nice. So there's potential here. They definitely have to boost. The skill moves wouldn't be bad, right? A five star skill move because skill moves is like way more important to use in the top divisions than, than, this, than the weak foot, in my opinion. It genuinely is. Because that L1 Alaska, the 45 degree angle Alaska, like it's just the, the Mortal Kombat FIFA stuff that's uh, important to have, right? But he doesn't have power header. Right? I, would assume, I would assume Van Bash would have like power header or something. Technical dribbler, team player, finesse shot. Yeah, so big uh, big changes need to be done on that card as well. Uh, Patrick Vieira by default will be, I mean, he'll probably be the best CDM in the game. Let's see what the prime looks like. He's no Pelinga, am I right, guys? <laughs> um, World Cup version. 
Yeah, Patrick Vieira just has like really insane defensive animations though. Like he's he's the type of guy that if you want him to be like a really proper CDM, for instance, like if you were to use him in that new 424 that we reviewed, um, and you use him as like the stay back while attacking cover center player, like you know, this card they released so early. This is like one of the objectives that people got in the beginning of the year, which was a W during that time period for sure. Uh, but yeah, Patrick Vieira, not really much to say there. He's probably gonna be really meta. Blanc, Laurent Blanc. Let's see this card. Uh, so he's a center back. Center back card. They made this card a little bit better. You know what? He could be really good, actually, because on a shadow chemistry style, he's probably going to be in like the 90s area for pace and defending. And then I would hope that they gave him the weak foot over the skill moves because, listen, giving giving uh, skill moves to defenders is if you want to play like an idiot. Let's be honest, right? Or are you just trolling? Because... A lot of the times having the weak foot is way more important than having the skill moves. So I think having a shadow on a card like this on a lengthy would definitely be very cool. I don't know what this card's like. I don't know if he's like too slow at center back because people packed him. And at the time he was like a little bit more expensive, but like he didn't really look like too crazy of a dub. Like I don't know how he plays in game and he has like really crazy defensive animations, but it does seem on the lower side when it comes to pace. But yeah, a lot of potential there as well. Raul, yeah, they got to do some, they got to they gotta put their voodoo magic on this card because this is the most generic card, probably one of the most generic icons. Like he's, he's definitely very, like there's nothing special about this guy when you use him, honestly. He just feels so, so, so generic, um, but again, has potential because one, you can make him an explosive accelerate on an engine, but I think in the future, if they improve the dribbling stats to be in a certain way, you're probably going to give him like a hawk, to be honest. It really just depends on how they end up improving the card. But there's potential with him. Like this, for an attacker, skill moves would make more sense, right? At a 5'11 height, lean body type. So I think if they gave him the five-star skills over the weak foot, that would definitely be a huge W for sure. But yeah, like I said, they got to work their voodoo magic on this card because nobody ever uses him. I've never seen him once this year, not even in the beginning, because it's just not really that great of a card. Um, Dalglish. Dalglish could be really cool. Um, maybe if they improve the passing. The passing is always the lower part of the card uh, when it comes to like the long passing capability. Like that part's low. But honestly, if you were to pack Dalglish during certain parts of the year, um, he was actually pretty sick to use because you would just give him like a Hawk chemistry style, um, you know, boost the pace, boost the shooting in the physical. It's a card that has the five star weak foot. So with him, it's weird because they say that they're gonna to, they're gonna do two versions of him. So if he already has the weak foot, I don't know what that means on their part. Um, I wonder if it's like a five-star, five-star player that has two different position switches because that's like kind of the whole point, I guess. What would they do? I don't even know what they would do if they were to give like a skill move improvement. Oh, I see. I'm an idiot. They're going to do one lower rated version and the higher rated version. Guys, hey, sometimes my brain cells, they don't work properly. They're not like formulating, you know, in my head. So it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, they'll have a lesser version of him and then the improved version of him. The improved version of him will probably have the five-star skills, which will make him pretty sick, to be honest. But we'll see. We'll see how he plays once we get our hands on him. Um, Xavi. Xavi, they have to do God's work on him, too, because uh, <laughs> nobody uses this guy at all. Like, even, like, listen, even as, like, an attacking-oriented center mid, some people may have used him. May, you know, keyword may, but... Yeah, no, he needs to be improved drastically as well. Uh, mostly in the defensive department, because it'd be nice to have base card stats shooting already being high, and then you can give him a shadow to work with the high, high work rates, and then it's a proper midfielder to use, right? So you have to wait until April for a usable version of Xavi, in my opinion. Like, some people were to get this card, like, uh, people are like, yeah, but Xavi's... No, no, no. Oh, and oh, and they have to do a crazy upgrade too as well, because I don't even think he has other versions. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he's always been like super like whatever too. You know how they should make Owen? Owen should be like Korea, like a like a boosted version of Korea. That's that's how that's how he should genuinely be. Because if we're talking about the best version of Owen, we're talking about like player of the year Owen over here. You know what I'm saying? So on a hawk, he should honestly be just as good as not just as good, excuse me, a better version of Korea. That's what he should genuinely feel like. But three star skills, maybe they gave him like a five star skill move, which would be which would be a W, because this card's already formatted nicely in certain areas. That if they give the dribbling boost, um, that would be really cool because he's explosive. So there's a lot of potential to work with there as well. Uh, Marquezio being an SBC, this 
without even reviewing the card, it's gonna probably be worth doing. They're gonna probably make him very expensive, to be honest. With this card being 825k, maybe the SBC is gonna cost a little bit more, obviously. Because maybe they give him like a weak foot to skill move adjustment. We'll see. I think for this card, again, weak foot, I would definitely prefer for midfielders. I just don't care about doing elasticals with midfielders. Um, and obviously, in his case, like he has all of the right things, right? So he's a controlled player, but you don't really care about the fact that he's controlled because he's already formatted nicely, right? So good pace, good shooting for midfielder, defensive stats are there. He's a taller player at 5'11", lean body type. You know, dribbling comes off nice, blah, 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 right? Like it's a card that is really cool to work with. He's left mid position change, CDM, center mid, bunch of really good stuff to work with. So yeah, Marquezio will definitely be... I think he's going to be a really good card. But, you know, things do change over the course of time for FIFA. So, obviously, we'll see. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to be really nice. Uh, Joe Cole. is it Was it this year that he had the blue card that I actually used for a little bit? I don't know if it was this year or it was last year that I used this card. I can't remember anymore. Because I, I remember using him quite a bit in the beginning. But I don't think it was this year's game. I think it was last year's. Um... Yeah, Cole has a lot of potential too. Short and lean minus body type at five foot nine with a hunter chemistry style for this card. Uh, he's an explosive player, right? So pace will be there, shooting will be there. Um, what would be really nice is if you could give him a hawk because the, the stats are formatted for that, right? Like to give him a hawk on the pace, shooting, and physical while working with higher dribbling capabilities, maybe a five-star skill move if they were to do if they were to do that. Uh, this would be a much more usable version of him as well. Uh, traits in game technical dribbler outside foot shot like he doesn't have finesse shot and stuff but honestly his shooting would be like really well balanced with that massive boost on it as well uh four lands really cool i actually enjoy using this card he's one of the um he's one of the uh like quote-unquote physical oriented strikers that performs really interesting um because i've used this card for quite a bit of time like his gold version um and he just, he feels pretty authentic in game, right? It's because of the way that the high, high work rates works in the card. Because if I'm using like a two striker lineup and I have like that new 4-2-4 four, four, uh, formation where it's like, you know, one is on, no, not one, excuse me. Both of them are on stay central, get behind, come back in the fence. Like it kind of works really well with someone like Mbappe next to him making those crazy runs. So yeah, four line was really cool. They did a pretty good job with this card. Um, he was actually like really cool to use. I enjoyed him for what it was. Um... It's just one of those types of cards where, again, they could give him like a skill move, weak foot adjustment. Uh, it would be great. Long shot takers on the card. So maybe a couple of traits would definitely be very nice as well. Uh, Dudek. I'm not going to lie to you. There was actually a time period where on Giyu's account, because Giyu does the Premier League stuff, he had Dudek. And Dudek was actually making some pretty good saves for me. But that was before that one goalkeeper adjustment. So no idea what he's like nowadays, to be honest with you. But this card on a basic chemistry style... Um, it could be really cool. Not really much to say there. It's a goalkeeper. You know, if, if it isn't Van der Sar, it ain't consistent for the most part. Um, and then Solskjaer is the next one. Is it this year that Solskjaer had the SBC? Or is it last year? It was last year. Last year, I think it was the, um, the Shapeshifter. I think that's what it was. It was a Shapeshifter card. Honestly, he was, it, it was usable. It was a usable card for sure. Nothing crazy special, but it was usable. Solskjaer has no cards this year. Wow. Not even a gold. Not even a gold. Average body type of high medium work rates, five foot ten, four star weak foot. Maybe skill moves in the future if they were to do that. Yeah, this card could be really cool. They could make him usable as well. Especially if you could make him explosive, because explosive is really sick. I love explosive players the most, but um Yeah, that's pretty much it though, guys. Uh at, at Gerard SBC. Yeah, so no Ricardo Carvalho. There definitely needs to be one, to be honest, because he needs that massive improvement uh, to be a little bit better at this game for sure. But <laughs> it's an interesting team. It's an interesting team for sure. Um... Yeah, the guy's not wrong about Gerard. Does Gerard have another card? Yeah, he's not wrong about Gerard. Gerard needs a new card too, because him, it's him and Lampard that they do like nothing to. <laughs> You know, it's him and Lampard. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of us checking out the new cards. And I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.